Hey guys and gals, today we're going to be working on the Maverick a little bit. Uh, if you've seen the last video, I got it back from Rise Fab Shop with the new exhaust. We had a full weekend and everything turned out really well. I like it. Anyways, today we're going to be replacing brake pads. I am at about 1,200 miles, a little more than that, so I need to replace the pads. Shout out to TNT Performance for getting me hooked up with some brake pads. Um, there is two different numbers that I see. I don't know which one is which. You got the 682X and the 683X. So, bear with me. I'm going to finagle around and see, see what the difference is. First time I've ever done brakes on this. I've had one caliper apart i was actually checking the brakes and noticed hey i need some pads so anyways here we go <laughs> Just lay it down. Just lay it down. Mm -hmm. Where's my foot? Where's my under? Yeah. All right, so I've taken this caliper off before. You got your two pins right here that'll have to come out. And then there's two bolts, the whole uh, bracket, everything will come right off. So, we're gonna figure out which size this was again. I think that it was in that one. You you'll be using this? No. I wanna help one time. You wanna help one time do what? Work on the Maverick one day. No, well, you're helping me right now. I wanna use one of toys. Toys. <laughs> this one easy. Yeah. Not that one you have in there. Get us a little bit of brake cleaner, get some of this mud out of here. Spray. The mud got on me. Spray mud. Mm hmm. I'm using a T30. This Torx bit. Uh. Gotta be easy with them, make sure that they don't strip out. I've seen quite a few people talk about them stripping out. Uh, so whenever you put them back together, you gotta put grease on them. Set those to the side. Hmm? All right, now to do the bolts on the back. What's this? Turn the steering wheel to the passenger side or driver's side. This way? Yeah. This way? Yeah. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go, awesome. That good? Yeah, that's good. Then I have to turn it this way. The other dog did too. How about you use one of the tools? In a minute. What? I want to use one of the tools. It probably would be fun. One of the tools? Mm hmm. Okay. Just one. I want to use this one back. I want to use the one to put the tire back on. Mm hmm. Thank you. 
That one, and that one. We used a 15 millimeter socket on those. Now this is supposed to slide off. It is. It'll come together. The mud. Just grab that. Yep. 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 You have a lot of dirt. Dirt and debris and stuff in there, so I got a couple cans of brake cleaner. As you can see on the pads, they wear uneven, but my back pad, that one right there, was already getting down to where the metal was. So, good indication. Hopefully, the uh. EBC brakes last a little bit longer. I've seen some good stuff about them. I've drove, I've used them in a car before. This piece just slides right off. I always just, uh, the first time that I did it, I just put grease back on here because it wasn't as easy to slide off. So, get the mud and junk out of there. And using that tool. I'm going to use a piece that I had for harnesses and stuff. Uh, these are from my old race car. Try to keep everything even. So. Gonna press the caliper as much as possible. Yep, two of them. Nope. Yep. The drill almost fell over. Right here. All right. So hopefully I have them compressed enough now that I can get the pads back on, no problems. Uh, let's see. It's still corded. It just turned off the box. Back. Clean all that off real quick. Give me that rag. Clean this off. Get me some uh, grease. I'll see what the grease you do. If it is. Oh, that was nasty. It looks like nasty here. Well, it don't smell the best in the world either, so. That good. That good. Put some grease on my pins here. Get them lathered up. Because if I do this once, I'm going to have to do it again and ensure that nothing is or will be seized up. While I'm greasing these. I'm also going to clean and grease the pad pins. 
All right, got my pans all greased up. Try not to get them dirty, which I already did. Just kind of suck. Do this one. All right, after some minor technical difficulties, we're going to start the assembly process. Here. Hmm. Put that back on. That's a mess. So as it looks like, the 682X is uh, probably going to be driver front and driver rear. We'll find out whenever we get to the rear one. And that goes in there like that, just slides in place. That one connects on that and then slides up. Some of this dirt off of it. Put it up in place. I'm just pulling Take it. my pin where I can see the holes. Force it in there. And then take the other one. All your holes are lined up. Force it in there. to get those started but I will not tighten them down yet so let's see slide this bad boy back and then just spread them out slide this back on the rotor Make sure we got everything compressed enough. This is going to be a tight one. Hmm. Let's see that. The bottom one. Here. There we 
we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. All right, there's that. It tells you on right here. Tighten these bad boys up. I don't even know what torque specs are, but it's snug, it's snug. Now, I'm going to tighten up the, the, uh, the pins. Snug them up real good. Everything seems free. So, these are the two pins that I was talking about. Uh, be very careful with them because they can and will strip out. Um, I did some reading on all this, you know, do's and don'ts and stuff. Because I really didn't want to tear this thing up. But your two bolts in the back, you've got this one here and then that one right there. And that's where... The magic happens so I'm gonna slide the wheel back on on this one and then I'm going to progress to the other side So same scenario as the last one. I'm gonna detail of doing this one and you can watch and then I'll do a time lapse for the other one. What do you want? Uh, I can go push the wheelbarrow out. Sure. All right, same scenario with this one. Um, I'll go through the whole thing. If I find anything, walk you through it. And then I'll do a time lapse on the other one for job completion. Utilize the same Torx bit on the rear. Uh, again, that's a T30.
bolt size for the brackets are the same. That's good. Not a lot of clearance room right here between this bolt and this uh, arm right here. So if you don't have anything to get behind there, like if your ratchet's too big, you might have to bring another 15 wrench. Well, that one wasn't far from metal. I don't know if you see that or not. That one was pretty close. That one's got factory lubricant on it. Clean this up real quick. Thing is most definitely packed full of mud. I mean, assumably that's to be expected, but there's a lot of junk in here. Same scenario as the front. Use this bracket and my C clamp. Thank you. 
So basically everything overall looks about the same. Uh, front and rear. Calipers all look to be the same size. Obviously. So I'll we'll go ahead and grease my pins for the back. And then grease these pins right here. Hey Cam, will you bring me that rag over there with the grease on it? Yeah. And don't get it all over you this time. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So if you're wondering what type of grease I'm using, uh, I'm using the green grease, marine grease, Lucas product. Um, I use it uh, to grease all the fittings on the rig itself. Uh, it's supposed to be waterproof. So much as this thing sees water holes and stuff like that I'm not trying to drive it like a boat but knowing that I don't want the grease to wash out so proved useful put the pad back in get my other pad set up Grease up my slider pins. These bad boys started and then again I'll tighten them down and snug them up once everything is back together Those two are in there like swimwear. Huh? And then these two. All right, so that one, that video cut off. GoPro was overheating. Anyways, I was gonna say the reason why you don't see me putting any Loctite on any of these is for the simple fact. Uh, if I'm out on a trail working on something, and I have to take those apart. It's just gonna make it a lot harder. And I don't, I don't really see putting Loctite in stuff like that. That's, you're gonna need to pull off and get out of the way pretty quick. Maybe the bigger stuff, uh, if I would, I would use some Loctite on. Anyways, this side's done, it's easy. So I have one more and we're gonna do a time lapse for you.
all right we got everything buttoned up all the lugs and stuff are torqued so uh, i'm gonna go drive around make sure everything is a-okay first thing i'm gonna do this is for people that's never done brakes before if you do brakes bump your pedal a few times quite a few until you get a firm pedal back Anytime you do brakes, you lose a little bit of pedal. So if you go to put your foot on the brakes and go somewhere, you're not going to be able to stop. So pump them up. No more squeaky squeak.